Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty. Welcome to your uh, March 2022 market update uh, in Victoria, BC. For the month of March, we had 833 sales. This was 29% down uh, from last year. Last year, we almost had uh, 1,200 sales. Keep in mind, last year was record breaking. If we take a look at years like 2018, 2019, 2020, all of those years, we were somewhere in the 600s. So 833 sales for the month of March is actually uh, quite healthy and above a historical average. New listings, uh, those were down 14% uh, from last year. So sales were down 29%, but also 14% new listings. I don't quite get that, uh, just less people listing properties. Maybe it was because of spring break and uh, with COVID relaxing a bit, people finally uh, leaving town. I don't know, kind of interesting that uh, both of those sales and new listings uh, dropped. As a result of new listings not being very high and dropping and still pretty decent sales, we're still at record low inventory. So 1,063 active listings to end the month. This is the lowest ever since we started keeping the statistics in 96 for the month of March. So we've started this year every single month for that month has been a record low in terms of inventory in the entire history of the Victoria Real Estate Board. Prices, so the market is still tight even though the sales are down 29% uh, when you have 833 sales and only 1,063 listings, that's not a very good uh, ratio usually puts upward pressure on prices. We set a new record high for median for single family homes at 1.31 million, new record average at 1.426 million. Condos and townhomes were slightly off uh, uh, record highs. What am I seeing on the ground? Uh, I'm seeing more and more sellers starting to price at market value. Uh, and especially if you price at market value and the property is not, not the most desirable, I am seeing more and more properties not end up in multiple offer situations, which is kind of what I expected. Uh, we can't have uh, multiple offers uh, going on on every single property for 10 years in a row. At some point, the market has to cool off a bit where sellers start selling traditionally again, pricing at market or a bit higher and then working their way back down. What I mean by this is, Instead of pricing at $7.99, getting five offers and selling at $8.50, maybe you price at $8.99, you're on the market two, three, four weeks, and you sell for $8.50. One's above asking, multiple offers. One's below asking, no multiple offers, but the end result of $8.50 is the same result. So a lot of people uh, are really getting their hopes up with less properties selling, uh, and they're not being multiple offers. However, that is not directly correlated to the actual sale price being lower. Um, and yeah, basically, you know, the desirable properties, those are still going in multiple offers because we have record low inventory. Out of that inventory, a lot of that inventory is undesirable. So when you get to the desirable properties, there isn't that many out there and you still have really strong demand. Uh, if it's reasonably priced and it's desirable, it still tends to go in multiple offers. Uh, also seeing a lot of strength in two bedroom, two bathroom condos. Uh, you know, I had, I wrote up an offer on Monday It had on a con, two bed, two bath condo, there was nine offers on it. Uh, I think that's stemming from a bit. A lot of people have been priced out of townhomes and uh, single family homes. So they're substituting that with uh, two bedroom, uh, two bathroom condos. Uh, where we go forward, tough to say, obviously interest rates are uh, trending up. Uh, and that's a concern uh, for a lot of uh, buyers. And I think maybe it's caused some buyers to slow down a bit their search just to see how the spring market unfolds. But the problem is even with lower interest, uh, with higher interest rates, which might reduce demand a bit, we still don't have enough inventory uh, to really uh, cause a shift in prices. Uh, I don't even know if we have enough inventory for prices to plateau at these sales to active inventory ratios. We're still looking at an upward trend, but my hope is that we do add a bit of inventory this spring and that prices uh, plateau and stabilize versus continuing to escalate. That's it for this week. Marco.